All right, so we're back Welcome with Secret back to Mana. More Secret of Mana. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> so apparently, in the last episode, that Wind Temple that we did is completely brand new to this Secret of Mana Plus hack, which I wasn't aware of. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but there's two more areas that are also affected, though those ones are actual dungeons. Oh, can't wait. I'll be at very short ones. Well, anyways, yeah. uh, you're gonna be the voice of reason from now on. <laughs> I suppose. Because you played the remake. I've been playing through. Yeah, because I've been playing through the remake in my spare time. Yeah, I'd say that's yeah. a good use of your time. Uh, so the next, I'm pretty sure the next thing we have to do, if I remember where we were last time, was go find a cannon so we can out to the desert. Oh, okay. Well, because I know we beat we beat the we saved like that dragon or whatever and beat that big like snake boss. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know how to. All go right. From just here. realized I should probably switch my weapon. What do you want to switch it to? Uh, uh, that's actually what is what I was thinking. Okay, the spear. The spear is what I'm looking for. Oh, you want to use the spear now? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Spear again. Well, that means doing fine. Okay. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just supposed to head off to, like, a cannon now. So we can, if I can remember where one of them is. Yeah, where is the cannon? The only place I know to get to a cannon is to be like to leave this place entirely. Is there anything? No, there's nothing down here. Any cannon will do. Okay. I think the best thing we can do is just leave this place altogether. We should be able to come back the way we came. Because I don't remember seeing a cannon in the, in the mushroom place. So, yeah. Oh. One okay. thing I will kind of say ahead of time before we get into... Oh. Before we go further, is uh, prepared to see a lot of reskinned bosses. Wait, really? They they ran out of budget. <laughs> no idea. But... It was wrong budget. All oh, right, I still need to axe to actually get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Let's just run past these things. Screw them. All right. Oh, and now my controls are reversed. Okay. Oh, here we have this uh, little area. Oh, yeah, this is how we got here. Also, um, I might be accidentally- yeah, right. I might accidentally open the menu sometimes, because I forgot to switch my controls back, but it's not a huge deal. I was playing Paper Mario a few I weeks ago. where the heck a heck a cannon is. I don't know. <laughs> Sleep flower. And uh, also, I guess another thing, uh, in the remake, the characters actually have default names. Oh, you can't name them yourself? Well, you can, just that they have default names. Oh, okay. So you don't have to go looking up the guide or whatever, saying like, hey, what are their names? Yeah, like, uh, the boy's called Randy. Yeah. Well, remember correctly, With I... an I rather than a Y. Oh, yeah. I know the girl's name is Prim, and I forget what this—I forget what the sage is called. Or this, this pit, the Popoy the sprite. Oh yeah, Popoy. Right. Yeah, they all have default yeah. names. I don't remember where her cannon is. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I guess we're gonna have to go look for one. Uh, well, how did we get here? Cause I know we 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 came here through like winter or whatever. So maybe if we head... I think we head down to the right, we should get back to the city eventually. And then we go up, I think. Yeah, yeah. This should take us back to one of the seasons, I think. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe we need to go right uh, again. I guess be... Oh yeah, and uh, by the way, uh... What weapon level ups work a lot like the magic does in that it's kind of limited by orbs by how much the weapon is upgraded. Oh, interesting. So, like for example, if you have a level three axe, you can only upgrade up level it up 
of that weapon level to level three. Interesting. That sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should head back to the mushrooms. I mean, we're almost back at the town. We're almost back at the village. I know. Yeah, but I, I know it's this way. Can't over here though. Hmm. Well, I guess uh, we'll see, right? <laughs> if if not, then we might have to look up where to go. Oh, geez, that sprite's flickering there. <laughs> classic, classic sprite flickering. Alright, let's just make a belt for it. Yeah, here's where the, uh, here's where the village is, I'm pretty sure. Was. <laughs> oh. oh. At least until we got rid of the hedgehog guys. Yeah. Okay. Let's get the peplers. Well, let's see. Can we go over here, maybe? Wasn't there something up here? I don't think there's anything over there. You sure? Oh, yeah, this is just where we started. Well, how the fuck did we get here, then? We got shot by a cannon to get out here. Oh. Well, let's see what's over here, then. The autumn area. Okay. That's... Uh, reverse control is my favorite. And then what was up here? Uh, nothing. Nothing was up here? Okay, just making sure. Sir, the enemy seem to really love ganking on me, like my help. <laughs> yeah, that's really unfortunate. Okay, and then if we go down here... Oh, I'm, just, I'm fucking confused again. What the hell, man? Over here. I don't think there's a cannon over there, though. You don't think there's a cannon in the village? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Found it. Alright, cannon travel center. Yeah, I know. I want to talk to right, that guy. Hey. Actually... Oops. Damn. Well, well, actually, technically you can access the girl's menu, because Jose's not here yeah, right now. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to have to do. <laughs> okay, um... Hodos or Guy's name? Uh, ne neither of these. Uh, we've already been to those places. Hmm, what do we do then? We, we need to find something, Hazel. Hmm. Where should we go then? I guess back to the mushrooms and look around there. Well, at that well at that point, I might as well just reset so we can work back that back there. Oh, fair. <laughs> yeah, I love those old square games where you can just hold L R start and select and work back to your save point. Well, you're the you're the uh, you're the you're the sleep point. Well, what do we need to do then? I don't actually know where we're supposed to go. This just leads back here. Are yeah. you are you sure we're supposed to be going this way? I'm just trying to stumbling around. <laughs> I forget, maybe there was a cannon around here. Well, <laughs> this way I might 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 have to look up the guide after all. <laughs> And then this is like a dun- this is like a dungeon. Okay, yeah, you know what? I think we will- I think we will look at the guide after all. Huh. Uh, we were at the season forest before. The season forest? Well, where's the upper land for- are we in the upper land forest? You can see either this or that other area we were going through that to get back to this forest of seasons. Hmm. What are the others? I don't- well, this is a case where I think a map will be useful. <laughs> well, this is this is Matongo, and Matongo isn't uh, the upper land forest. I know that. So we don't need to talk to the Mushroom King anymore. I'm guessing, right? Nope. Okay. So somewhere in the forest, there's a cannon guy. So I guess you were right. It's just we couldn't find it for some reason. I think we might have been looking at the wrong side of the area. Maybe. Oh, we might have to go through here again. Would it be through here? Yes, let's look over here. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> we could have just came <laughs> down here. We're fine. Okay, Kakara, yeah. there we go. Perfect. Wow, we made that a lot harder than it needed to be. 
Hooray, we're actually making progress. The screen flash for a second there. Mode 7 graphics. And screen flashing, because that's the 90s for and, you. Uh... And Discord. <laughs> Discord not liking you today. <laughs> Covered with sand. <laughs> well, Jose's not here to find a fair place. <laughs> Let's find a town before we shrivel up. Yeah, sadly, Jose's yeah. not with us today. He might show up later, but I wouldn't count on it. But the good news is we do have our uh, we do have our magic all leveled up, yeah. and it doesn't seem like I can hurt this scorpion with my whip. Never mind, I just wasn't hitting him correctly. What? Rush to where we're supposed to go, or do you want to sit here and fight these things? Uh, I mean, I'll fight some of the enemies. Doesn't hurt to get some extra experience. Yeah. I swear my whip's hitbox is freaking awful. Sometimes. Sometimes it'll hit the enemies, and other times it won't. I think it's also just because apparently evasion is a thing. Wow, that is that is bullshit. The remake will let you know when misses happen, and it will let you know a lot because that happens a lot. Oh, that's just built into the game. It, yeah, at least in the remake, I'm not. It's hard to tell when there's no graphic that says miss when you attack things here. Wow, imagine in like Pokemon, you don't get a message saying like, "Oh, you missed." They just like so nothing. Attack animation and nothing just, happens. Yeah, you just do an attack and it does no damage. Uh, stay away from the pits. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. I was kind of, I'm kind of worried about deserts in games because typically deserts like to have mazes in them, and that's no fun. Pumpkin. I've never seen these guys. Explode. Before. Exploding pumpkins. Pumpkin bombs. Hell yeah. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Pumpkin bomb. Ooh. Boom. Actually, it's kind of a funny coincidence, because I'm playing through Pokemon Black right now with a few of my buddies. And there's also... Oh, hold on. Dry. Can't go on. We're finished. Look, over there. Hurry! Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, um... Yeah, we're uh, just supposed to... Okay, so we're, we're just go, supposed we to head up there. from here. But yeah, I'm playing Pokemon Black and White, and I'm also in a desert in that game, too. So it's kind of a funny coincidence that we're also doing a desert in this game as well. And here's one of the worst enemies I've seen in this game. It's more like an ant lion than a spider. It's like a big spider in the ground. Ah. Oh. But it also looks like but, an ant Yeah, lion. hitting these things is like nigh impossible, and they love spamming magic. Oh, it's fun. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of the pumpkins exp the pumpkin exploded. But I was stunlocked, so I couldn't do shit about it. Yep. Thank god we have, uh, cure water. Also, I'm gonna need to remember to save as often as possible because I know this game loves to freeze for no reason. A ship, let's go. A ship, let's go. Oh. A lifesaver. Dude, what are you doing out here? Only Imperial spies could be so stupid. It's a break. How rude. How, how rude. Oh wait, you doing gnarly. Look at, look at, look at, uh, look at Jewel pouting. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Sir, picked up some spies. Hold on, maybe they just got Hold lost. On. We'd almost given up. I like you, so I'm gonna help you. You'll work the engines. The shrimp will make meals. And she comes with me. You heard him move.
Uh, well, that didn't sound good. Get to work. Okay. Let me you for a moment. Oh, she blows. Oh, she blows, eh? You're new, eh? Who, huh? I'm Sergo, pirate and scourge of the eight seas. Well, there's eight seas now. At least I, at least I used to be. The oceans have grown too stormy. I stood away because I missed my ship so much. Wonder if the oceans will ever be safe again. Yeah, uh, you're gonna want to keep talking to the Sergo guy. Oh, okay. This is the Republic's secret sand ship. Huh? You want to escape with your friends? Give it to me. Go talk to those guards by the stairs. Yeah, that's all he has to say. What do you look important? Feel picked up at yeah, the desert. Yeah, just go sleep. talk to the guards and see what happens. Okay. You get back to your post. Fire! Fire! What? Get out of my way! And then I can just head on. <laughs> okay, that's silly. All right, I'm just gonna have a look around. Yeah, now you just gotta find, find Jewel and then we'll go find, find uh, Gnarly. Yep. This reminds me of that. This reminds me of a Doom 2 map. Strangely enough. Okay, I guess I go down deck here. Okay, uh, doesn't look like I can use my weapon here, so I don't think there's any combat. Oh, found him. Stop lollygagging. Stop lollygagging. <laughs> Phew. Feels like paradise in here. Hey, right, buddy. He ate up all the ship's food. Is that your friend? Go, I'm out of here. Oh, okay, that's the guard talking. Couldn't eat another thing. Hooray! Okay, well that's one person. Yeah, now we just gotta head it back up top. Alright. By the way, we're gonna have a boss fight after this short soon. Oh, this game loves its boss fights. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a door there. Yeah, that's a... it's pretty easy to... that sprite blends in super well. I'm guessing it's not, it's not that hard to notice in the remake, right? Honestly, it kind of was. Oh. <laughs> Help! Rats have eaten all the food! We're finished! Okay, dumbass guards? Rats! Huh. <laughs> that fucking sprite of him laughing. And here is this, this guy being a complete creep. Massage my back! I'd rather have my, my gums scraped. Well, brat. I oughta. Ooh, who's Corey, this guy? How dare you! The but grandpa, grandpa, she's being a. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's it. I don't know. I've lost track of who's who, honestly. <laughs> yeah. You're pathetic. Well, then get out of here. Am I glad to see you? Okay, this is now the guy you were voicing. Oh, this I was voicing this guy? Yeah, he's, he's the guy in the blue helmet. Oh, they've escaped. This is your fault, Gramps. I, um, escapees, grab them. Uh-oh. This conversation is going all over the place. <laughs> yeah, what the? The Empire. Ah, uh, let's surrender. You idiot. <laughs> You're no soldier, two arms. Oh, no wonder I couldn't tell, because their names are so fucking similar. Moria and Mary. Yeah. No way! You're with Mori! Well, that'd be a good time to save. It's this guy again. You voiced Just star. I think you voiced him. Hmm. Didn't think I'd see you here. You must be the ones Thanatos warned me about. How about a little game? Yeah, with this jovial ass music. Yeah. Oh, and uh, the game's locked up again. I guess it's fast forward. 
Yeah, what was my fast forward button? Oh, never mind. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind, we're just in the boss right now. So long, chumps. He's literally on a fucking motorbike. <laughs> yeah, he is the mech rider. Oh, hell yeah. He's like green biker, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure her lightning was anything. Well, you can always scan him if you don't know. Why can't I? Is he not on the screen enough or something? I suppose. Well, now he's gone. <laughs> okay, now it works. There we go. Honestly, I should probably switch to the girl because I haven't used her at all. And I know this is going to be my only chance probably to play as her. Um, I remember the button to use magic. There we go. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's weak to the lightning to win and stuff. To win? Okay. So in that case, I'll use the Thunder Saber. Yeah, it did. I saw the, the numbers fading away when we got there. Oh, interesting. It's now on screen up right now. Come on, get up. Damn it. <laughs> Just realized he hasn't even tried fighting back yet, aside from running us over. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be really annoying because my other my other guy keeps getting unconscious. Thank you, magic being stupid. Yeah, because otherwise this will be obnoxious. Let me just why don't we just wait for him then? Wait for him to move out of the way. Oh, never mind. He he's up here now. I want to make sure I'm out of the way at least. Okay, now he's attacking, shooting miss his missiles at us. And the sprite flickering is going crazy. I have not gotten a single attack on him. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, you're really going to be just doing all the work in like 99% of these boss fights. <laughs> he's already dead. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Good thing, because I ran out of magic there. Wow. I got to cast Thunder Saber once, and then I didn't do anything with it. So hell's we're gonna fight him again in the future. Oh boy, have fun. Got Whip Warp. Oh, perfect. Now my whip's even better. What a mess. They're going to run away. What? Your gem is friends? Then your... I must apologize for my grandson's actions. I had almost forgotten how true soldiers act. Oh, my beautiful ship. Shameful. Anybody we need to talk to, or are we good here? Okay. Uh... We just can't. We yeah, just came yeah, to the we're desert. To talk to at this point. Do you uh, say anything important? Well, let me know if you need any jobs. Is that, uh, is that, is that ever become relevant later? <laughs> That's the same. You guys say anything? Rescue team's coming. Are you leaving? Okay. okay here we go. Go north of the King of the Kakara, then west of the Fire Palace. Uh, I side note, do not go to the Fire Palace. And spawn us right in the middle of a sand pit. <laughs> oh. Welcome to Kakara! I don't like this place, because these guys are everywhere. <laughs> yeah, they actually fit here. <laughs> they don't feel out of place like in the other town. Nab Salamando, keeper of the fire palace. What's more, the fire seat is gone. Oh no! D starting recording. Oops, I forgot. I forgot that. I forgot that it does that. <laughs> I just wanted to play a funny sound effect. 
Our wells have run dry. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's not, let's not create our shit. Eight thousand G. Well, it doesn't cost anything. Like eight eight hundred. Yeah, that's like nothing at this point. Okay, so now my whip's better. Any shops in this so, uh... place? All right, yeah. Well, that's just the cannon. Okay, we know what that is. We we need to go to a cannon. Okay. Uh, there's an inn. It's like they mentioned that the fire back. seat and Salamando are gone. Uh, they're in the other place we could have gone to the, the ice country. The ice palace. I think I'll move to the ice country. I heard there's yeah, a town as warm it. as this one there. I don't think there's any. I don't see a. I don't see a shop here. There is. Uh... I just sworn it was. Maybe not. I, well, maybe it's in the inn? One night there's 50 GP. No. I will save. What? The, the fucking game crashed. What? What the hell was that all about? Did you do the boss fight again, or did you save state after that? Uh, I don't remember where my last save state was. Uh, looks like it was before the boss. Okay, okay. well that was weird. Uh, at least this shouldn't take that long. Yeah. Well, that was weird. I don't know why the game crashed. <laughs> oh, hey, Jose. Hey, what's up? We're, we're fighting a boss right now. <laughs> so what happened? Uh, the game crashed for some reason when I tried to save the game, so now we have to refight a boss all over again. <laughs> I didn't even notice that you guys were in the call. Well, I DM'd you, saying that I'm in VC, so... You did? Yeah. Did you tell him the time? Yeah. yeah. I was trying to avoid you. <laughs> well, let me know if you want to get on Parsec or not. Okay, hold on then. Oh, crap. Um, let me up your volume, by the way. Why? I had you a bit quiet, that's why. I know, I know. Whoa, I actually did damage to him. <laughs> I'm a bit exhausted, if I'm gonna be quite honest. Yeah, that's understandable. And I'm literally halfway finishing the game. Good job with that. Yeah. Finishing what game? Xenosaga. Well, oh, episode so one, actually. What's going on, Jacob? You're not accepting my invite. Oh, so we're in the- we're in the heat of combat right now, bro. <laughs> Hold on. Just do it quickly. Okay, there we go. Yep. It's a mess. Why is it glitching? Yeah, it's happening a lot so far. The, the screen flickering is kind of wild. Okay, let me save after that. I guess to get you up to speed, we went off to the desert, wandered around for a bit, got stuck on a sand ship, and then the Empire attacked. Yeah, and I got a whip orb, and I killed a guy on a, bi on a bike. <laughs> you got Simon Belmont. Yep. You're Germa's friends. I guess we might as well just head to the soldier and leave. Okay. Hello, soldier. Take us out of here. That's not the right soldier. Oh. Is this guy? Oh, yeah, Jacob. You Runs only up. caught me in a horrible time. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. Not just me playing Xenosaga, but my stomach actually really hurts. Oh, you could have, like, stomach meds or something. No, it doesn't even help. No. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, there we go. There's the right guy. I only got stomach damage because I, I ate really spicy food. Oh, well, I do love me some spicy food. Oh. Not if you eat... Not if you eat a really, a really hot pepper. Oh, and you're, wait, you're at an MP still. Yeah, my mouth was literally burning from eating a really spicy pepper. 
Mm. Well, I do love me and some spice. Not, and it was not fun at all. Okay, let's see if the game will crash again. I literally oh, had to... <laughs> I literally had to drink two... <laughs> two bottle of milk. Damn. Just to ease the Damn. spice. Might be even spicier than that, uh, times two spicy bulldog that I had one time. I'll see if it... It literally I'll feels like safe. I was eating go... It feels like I was eating ghost peppers, except that it's not ghost peppers. It's it literally worked, Chipotle. It worked that time. That's weird. It was literally the Chipotle pepper that I ate. Yeah, what the fuck is the Chipotle pepper? Uh, it's one of the spiciest peppers. Huh. Spicier yeah. than the... What about ghost peppers? Oh, I will never... I am never willingly eat ghost peppers. Okay, so the ghost pepper is spicier then? Yes. Also, but that, it's not also that, guy's, to... that, that guy's graphics like glitched out. He like turned a different palette. Oh, it's not even advice to eat too much spicy ghost peppers. <laughs> Alright, uh, ice country. <laughs> You're gonna regret it though. I might try out, uh, I might try times three bulldog if I ever come across it. Because apparently that one's even spicier than times two. All right, get ready for more Mode 7 graphics. Love me some Mode 7 graphics. Oh my god, there's walrus. Oh, yeah, walrus people. Hell yeah. And there's another inn here. Oh yeah, and Jacob, you want to hear... Jacob, you want to you wanna know what's my biggest... One of my biggest gripes with Xenosaga Episode 1? What? It lacks overworld music. Well, damn, that's kind of mid. Well, yeah, this, it really is. It is literally lacks track. variety of music. And you want to know what's even worse? What? Well, here's the item shop. The only battle music is literally the battle music that you listen to. Sounds like there's a lack of a soundtrack. Okay. Yeah, it um... lacks soundtrack. The chest guard. Ooh. The battle real. theme is even used for boss battles. Yeah. Dude, the so, golden yeah. chest and raccoon cap are new. Oh, fuck. Well, um... Oops. The only battle theme that's different is the final boss music. So we already, we already had the chest guard then? Yeah. Well, uh, I guess and I'm selling anyway, it. I know that the... The only time Xenosaga Episode 1 only uses music is during cutscenes. Yeah, basically music is only used in cutscenes, nothing else. Hmm. Best I can do is afford the golden vest for everybody. However, in Episode 2, they do use music, actually. Good on them for using music. I won't be able to upgrade you wanna hear the armor. Do you want to know what's even worse? Though. What? About episode two. What? The battle system could have been the best of the three episodes, but it was executely horribly. Are you saying, like, the battle system changes in each one or something? Yes. But in Xenosaga episode two's case, it was terribly executed because you get encounters constantly. You get. Yeah, you want to go into and equip your new armor. And the battle system is not proper, I will say. And <laughs> last but not least, the models in Episode 2 is a downgrade from Episode 1. That's so weird. <laughs> it is. But there's variety of music in Episode 2. I'll give him that. Oh yeah, put on your armor, Jose. And then after that, I'll make a save state. Oh, shit. There you go. There you go. Golden vest. 34 defense. That's well, good thank defense. You. Yeah. Prepare to fight a lot of wolves. Oh, God, not the... It's Wolfenstein. Jacob, where's Snowman? 
Oh, I'm already dead. <laughs> oh, okay. haha, uh, you died. Guess we're going back to the town then. Because <laughs> it's not that far away. Alright, well, honestly, I'm gonna have to start save staying before every end now because now I'm paranoid the game's gonna crash. And plus, you know, we need to get our, our health back up. So overall, for me, the story of Xeno Saga Episode 1 is actually really good. Oh, great. That's nice. Even though, even though the story can be all over the place. Yeah, I can't really comment too much because I haven't seen it for myself, but it sounds nice enough. Come on, start. Uh... Start! Yeah, you just gotta make sure you guys are the right characters. Okay, you're good to hop in now. Uh, you're good to hop in now. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Well, yeah, so I started watching uh, Sailor Moon a few nights ago. Why are you watching Sailor Moon about now? Uh, well, I wanted to watch it for a while, but it just took me a while to get to it. And how is it? Oh, it's really good. I mean, it's I mean it's obviously 90s anime, so I, I'm already loving the style. So I'm feeling very nostalgic for that style. Everybody loves 90s style anime. Yeah, including That's why me. it's so appealing. <laughs> Well, because, like, I've known about Sailor Moon for, like, you know, what, 10 years or something? But I never I watched grew up it. With, it. Jacob, I grew up with oh. Sailor Moon just for a bit. Well, uh, fuck it. We will, uh, use one of our couple wishes. So I'm too lazy to go back to town. Well, F you. Let's <laughs> just go meet the crack reindeer. Screw you, wolves. Recently, I've been watching more very old episodes. Very old SML videos. <laughs> like which one? How old are we talking? Eh... Like, uh... Not sure... What? Uh, probably like the Toad's Mistake... Toad's Mistake era, I think? Oh well, yeah, that's really old. Very this video... Old. This video released in like 2010 or something. There's a reindeer here. What's that all about? The one video that I'm talking about is the one Doritos video. Oh, that's just straight up Rudolph. I tried to see this, huh? Doritos? Yeah. Oh, my master's gone. <laughs> hey, your master's gone. No one's in the palace except the monster. The monster's got master. Hail. Yeah, I'm talking about this one. Was Santa in this game? And you're right. That you were expecting Rudolph and Santa in Secret Amanda. It's a Christmas miracle, guys. Huh, why is there just a random pillar in the way? How much cash have you found? T today is my birthday. What's that a reference to? I don't even know. <laughs> I just randomly said it. Even though Moonni is not Funni. <laughs> and Moonni does not get you boonies. Exactly, Moonni does not give you boonies. <laughs> All I want is. Cannon to get out of here. Okay. All I want where, is. Well, a... I just want to check where the cannon can take you. All I want is the Boonni wife. Boonni wife. Where, where, where does the cannon take us? Back to uh, Potos, I guess? Because Raisin is best Boonni. Uh. Matongo and Kakura, okay. You know, I kind of want to go back to Toho 8. Well, you certainly can, because I'm not playing it right now. I kind of took a break from trying to fight Moko. You just have an excuse to fight my wife, my waifu, huh? <laughs> yep. How many excuses do you make? Too many. Not as many as Seb, though. Seb makes many more excuses, because he won't send me his damn Pokemon footage, still. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> uh, speaking of footage... I feel like I'm forgetting what footage I should have sent you. Yeah, your MGS2 footage. Oh yeah, that's right. I... 
I actually forgot to send you the MGS2 footage. Eh, not a big deal. It's only been a day. Holy shit, what is that cloud, dude? <laughs> that's Are you sure that's not the cast magic at us. And do that. You should probably cast magic on it. Lunge. Well, actually, I'm not going to because there's stuff coming up. Oh. We can just we should probably just run past this thing. Well, not if you're gonna become a snowman. <laughs> okay, kill that cloud. I'm green now. I'm the Hulk. You're not the bulk. <laughs> bulk bogan. <laughs> Die, Cloud. You're not- you're not Strife. Yeah, you're not Clunge. I mean, it's fine. We have seven Fairy Walnuts. We'll be okay. This is the Funk. It's the final countdown. It's Frankie! Oops. It's the final countdown! <laughs> I- 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 What happened there? Uh, I think it tried to go in the full screen, and it shit itself. <laughs> Jacob, it's the funky cow down. The fun <laughs> I, boss time. Really? Okay. I really need to fix my keybinds. Okay, what's the first killing thing me? I need reskin bosses. Oh god, what the hell is that thing? A reskin of one of the earlier bosses. And you're already yeah, I'm dead. Already dead. <laughs> That's funny that you died. Wow. So it's, it's, it's like those it's like those armor upgrades didn't even do anything. Maybe it's because we didn't buy the raccoon mask. Raccoon. Yeah. What the fuck is a raccoon? Yeah, Resident Evil reference. Raccoon City? Oh, yeah, Raccoon enough. City. <laughs> Oriole face. I'm stuck. Good, you should be stuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually stuck. I can't like. Oh, here we go. Ha 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 ha! I'm trying to. I'm trying to get over and use my whip. Hmm. Slowly, <laughs> I slowly get to use my whip. Well, hopefully, hopefully my whip did something. Tanda. A lot of me lot of menu navigation. <laughs> Tanda. Oh, oh shit. Hmm. Oh yeah, honestly, Jose, you should be using speed up like the like on us at the start of a fight. There you go. Well, at least you'll not die that much. That's good. Well, defense. It, real, it mostly benefits Joran because he's the one with the low defense. <laughs> spinning disc. Yeah, spinning disc. Die. I did some damage, hooray! I'm actually doing something! <laughs> Die, Mario! <laughs> Die, Mario! Well, I guess it was a matter of time before they started to have to recycle bosses, huh? <laughs> yeah. I hate that face so much. Ah. I think I've also been hit by him just going back into the ground more than anything. That is pretty annoying. Balloon. Balloon. Here, you could analyze and see how much health he has left. <laughs> sure. You can do that. Boreal face. He's half dead. He's dead. 
Actually, not even that. He's got a thousand health. Too bad it's not the thousand year door. <laughs> yeah, which comes out in a few weeks. All right, I'm gonna use. People are gonna be myself. mixed about this game once it comes out. I'm sorry, but it's true. Well, people are gonna be mixed about every game, though. So it doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah, and why is that? As they say, f the haters. <laughs> Why am I not damaging you? Oh, found him. <laughs> I died. Oh, now you're dead. Okay. We're gonna have to buy a lot of cups of wishes after this. <laughs> See, this time we're not dying because of um, the game yeah. being bullshit, we're just being incompetent. <laughs> Well, what about pre-presentation? Crap, can, can you heal me, please, Jose? Jacob. Boy, what's up? How do you think the presentation will work on the game? Well, I already think the game looks great. Like, like the, sh the, the all the shaders and stuff that they use are really fancy. I love how I love how like modern the the game looks like from a. So basically, what you're saying is that the presentation of the game looks good. Yeah, it looks great. Like all the shaders and stuff they use, like really bring the game to life. Because honestly, no matter how many like HD textures and like fancy upscaling you use on the GameCube version, it can only look so good. But the question is, how will it ever be executed? I mean, you've seen screenshots of the game. Four. Yes, but... But I want to see it in practice, though. If... If the game is amazing in practice, then... Where the hell are we now? That warm paradise the person back in Kakara mentioned. Oh. And it's the Scorpion Army again. Hey, Jake, who are you? And we met... Oh well, watch a stove. Watch a stove. <laughs> watch a stove. It's not hacking if it pulls down, okay? Is this some like mini game or something? Nope. But Jacob, you do know that people are going to mod the game I after know, its including, release. Including me. Eh? Why? How are you 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 don't even know the first thing about modding? I do though. I hear something, shall I open it? Can you make your own mods? Oh, it's the fire salamander guy. Oh, it's the sa sa salamando. Ew, thanks. I'm the fire elemental salamando. How dare those creatures use me as a heater. Yeah, let me teach you the power of fire. How dare you dodge my ass. Got salamando's powers, yeah! Boss. Can you recognize them? I don't remember who voiced. Yeah, these are the guys with the annoying robot boss from earlier. Oh god. You again? Did you recognize them? Uh, sorry. Sorry. Everyone's gone. Everyone's gone. I was about to become rich. Ah, fire palace seed. I haven't a clue. Oh, I saw. Yeah. I saw an odd old guy when we nabbed Salamando. Don't help them. See ya. Bye. Boss and boys, my favorite characters. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and now it looks really cold here. Heat her away. <laughs> uh, I, guess, so Jacob, I guess it was the heater's fault. What? Have you ever made oh, your own mods? Oh, no. Um, do my music mods for ultimate count? <laughs> You, you did make some rum hacks for her Mario RPG, didn't you? Yeah, I did that. That counts as a mod. I made a, a Mario 64 mod. It's not good, but I made one. I, I mean, technically, music mods does count, but it's much easier. I've also done I've also done a bit of UI stuff for Ultimate as well. 
Mostly, uh, mostly, the one thing I mainly did was I added UI for the Magma Dragoon skin over Ken. And I also, uh, added, like, a bunch of icons and stuff like that for, um, like, music and stuff. So, I mean, that counts, okay, as, that so counts as modding. Okay, so you do know how to mod, but I still see you as a beginner. I mean, there's still a lot to learn when it comes to Switch modding. Hey, our Katie friend. Let's, okay, uh, okay. let's buy... Really... If you really wanted to mod Thousand Year Door Remake, then at least try to mod it of what it originally looked like. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, also, also to, we can... Or at least try to mod what Nintendo has cut out. Oh yeah, there'll definitely be people to make, like, uncensored patches and stuff. Huh, maybe I should have said it much better. Is translation more taste? accurate, though? Um, like, yeah, the, the translation is more accurate to the Japanese version, but, like, I feel like that kind of loses some of the charm, though, at the same time. I'd rather, so, I don't know, like... Actually, can we go buy more, another fairy one because I used one earlier? Oh, sure. We have enough, right? Just because it's yeah, charming should. doesn't make it automatically good for everybody. We have a thousand, yeah. I think it's a, I think a fairy walnut costs a thousand, anyway. There we go. Okay. Maybe I should have said to make it to make it look faithful. Look faithful, yeah. Because if anything, yeah, that part. if anything, the remake's being more faithful to the Japanese version, which, in my opinion, is actually a bad thing. Because I loved what the localizers did, and they're kind of ruining that by making it more. Talking about the like graphics and stuff, more, dude. Oh, well, the graphics. Well, in terms of graphics, it it looks very faithful. Uh, but right, the man. problem is the uns but the problem is the censorship. Yeah, the censorship. What censorship? They removed uh, the bloody chalk outline in the Japanese version when it was there originally. Um, they also um, what else did they remove? They removed um, like Goombella getting hit on by the Goombas in the sewers. That got removed, but we still don't know if it was because of censorship or if it's just because they're trying to be more faithful to the Japanese script. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Either. I have no idea what they're doing with that. I think probably the stupidest change, though, for the TUID remake, if you guys don't already know, is they, for some reason, renamed the Shadow Sirens. They're now just called the Three Shadows, which sounds it sounds stupid. The Shadow Siren sounds cooler. Exactly. Because it literally... Because I know what Siren means. Yeah. I exactly call any of them Sirens, though. I mean, I'm still going to be calling them the Shadow Sirens, because that's what I grew up with. Considering I've been playing yeah, no, TTYD it for... A, it is a cooler years. sounding name. Yeah, exactly. Jacob, I, ha Jacob, I haven't played Thousand Year Door in my entire life. Well, up to you if you want to play the original. I recommend you just play the GameCube version. I mean, isn't that what you just told me before? Yeah. Since... Since I know... Since I know... Since I'm aware that the Thousand Year Door remake just felt butchered. So we got a new dungeon now, huh? By the way, you guys should test out your fire magic. I should definitely do that. You want to get your magic level up anyway. Flame Saber? Ooh, that's pretty badass. And, uh, that's, by the way... That's uh, literally what Zero would use. Fireball. Right. Oh yeah, and, uh, Jose, one of your, uh... One of your fire spells is actually offensive, so you can actually attack with magic now. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, if you remember Fire Bouquet from the Spiky Tiger. Hey Jacob, oh, having the that. Fire Sabers is what something that Zero would have. Definitely. Like in a Mega Man X6. Or X4. Yeah. Definitely X4. Well, he has a Flame Saber in X6 too, and that one's also really cool. I think he, you know what, Jacob? I think he I does an X5 though. Gnarly is Zero. <laughs> Gnarly is Zero. Well, if anything, she's like a mixture of roll and zero. 
Why roll? Because roll is, you know, she's got a ponytail and she likes using, uh, you know, like staff like objects. Hero's blonde. Yeah, roll's also blonde. <laughs> I saw this- I saw this fan art once. It was like a picture of like Roll and Zero together. And yeah, uh, so. someone was saying how like, I guess Roll really is the Zero of Mega Man Classic. <laughs> you kill all of us. I mean, wasn't Zero based on base? No, base didn't come out yet, I'm pretty sure. Mega Man 7 came out after Mega Man X. Can you heal all of us, please? Yeah, Oh. You have 8 health. Oh, you should probably I mean, heal it's everybody. That's what the description says. If I... anything, if anything, I feel like Zero was more based on uh, Proto Holy Man. shit. Alright, Jose, you should heal everybody. Okay. Dude, I just did 200 damage. Not, not with that. Your, your magic. Your magic will be your better. Magic, you can dude. heal everybody. Shut up! <laughs> Sorry. I'm running out of magic anyway. Well, that's what fairy yeah, elements are fairy for. Fairy will be good. I'm gonna just defuse the all bit there. Actually, actually, question: When you use your magic on everybody, it is two, right? Not, not if, six. Jacob, if, if anything, I would say. That zero is more likely based on Proto Man. Well, yeah, maybe. I don't know, actually, no. Well, because I'm sure you might, you guys might know, but um, zero was actually meant to be the protagonist of Mega Man X, but they said he looks too different, so they made a new design. X was the protagonist. So they just scrapped the idea. Yeah, they scrapped the idea of zero being the protagonist until Mega Man Zero. Huh. So they, just, so they just used that idea a decade later? Pretty much, yeah. And they let NT Creates uh, oh, really? do that. Ghost. When are you ever gonna play Mega Man Zero? Well, there's just like Love Orb in here. I don't know when I'll play Mega Man Zero, because I want to play the rest of the Classic and X games still. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Well, think about it. Oh, and you're dead. Well, guess, let me see. I the, the last few games I have to play in the Mega Man X series, I have to play Extreme 1 and 2, I have to play Maverick Hunter X, and I may or may not play X Dive if I'm feeling like torturing myself that day. Why would you ever <laughs> want to play X Dive? That game is not even canon. Well, neither is Extreme 1. Have you even played the Mega Man series in canon? Well, I also need to play Mega Man Powered Up, and I also need to play Mega Man V. What's that? Uh, it's the last Mega Man Game Boy game. What about Legends? Star Droids. Yeah, Star Droids. Legends is like a whole a whole ass other thing. AKA the game where Mega Man can look at porn. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, because the AVGN video. Yeah, the AVGN video. Mega Man goes I... to look at porn. Mega Man X, more like Mega Man Triple X. Oh my god, yeah, I remember that stupid joke. Okay, I guess yeah, I'm going I know to that joke door. well. And, and I honestly kind of find it funny, surprisingly. I'm Tron sure... Bond certainly wants it to be Triple X. <laughs> no. Tron Bond. <laughs> oh, we're all snowman. Die. Okay, let's just... Let's get a let's move on. Let's just run past you guys for them. Mm. So boring. So bored. So bored. What the fuck is that thing? I don't even know. Another magic eye enemy. I don't even know. Holy shit, magic book! I was just talking about magic books earlier. You were. Yeah. I reached level 23. Is that the first level up we've gotten this episode? Actually, yeah, I think it is. I mean, to be fair, we haven't really been killing a lot of things. Mystic book. Yeah, I'm just been running back a lot of stuff. Hey, Jacob, have you ever realized that Mega Man Legends is more depressing than you think? Yeah. Why is that? Oh god, we're in a maze. 
Well, humanity was extinct. Probably use magic. Oh. Almost. There's like three enemies on screen. Might as well be, if there's only one guy left. Oh yeah? Why? Can't really repopulate with a single person. At that point, it's impossible. Um, how do we get through here? Honestly, you should, honestly, why don't you guys should really use your magic on these guys? I don't even have magic. Did you run out? Yes. You should probably use a fairy wall nut then. Then, yeah, yeah, the walnuts are still there. Too yeah. hard. What, you want me to do it for you? No. Sorry, <laughs> Cloud. How are you still Sorry, not dead? <laughs> Clunge is not dead. Spectre. Well, to be fair, it is level zero. It's not that strong. This would be the perfect time to grind out your magic, then. <laughs> yeah, grind out your magic. It's going to take a while. Energy absorb. Oops, I think I pressed the wrong thing. So bored. Hey, we got a fairy. You got a free fairy walnut. Hooray, free fairy nut. Well, this would be the perfect time to use one then. And your magic skill leveled up. Well, you know what? Yeah. Hooray! Okay. Oh, you're also out of magic. <laughs> magic. Have you ever realized that magic is useless in this game? Are you being sarcastic? We have been blitzing the hell out of stuff with it. Oh no, I am not being sarcastic. I am telling the truth. Oh. Yeah. I told I'd, you so. I'd say quite the opposite. Why the yeah. opposite? Magic literally yeah, shreds you can't attack everything. Stuff. Jacob, today is opposite day. Oh uh, yeah, I should have known. I mean, I, yeah, I, I, I mean, honestly, I'm playing, I'm playing the worst character because I have no magic right now. Huh. How are you even playing the worst character? You've done so much damage. No, Jewel does way more hey, damage. You can Dang. attack with the fire guy if you want. Who, me? Like, fire bouquet is an attack spell. Oh, yeah. This one? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Holy shit, there was, there was a naughty magazine there, dude. Yeah, just, right. Like, I, just, I believe that. I just saw a naughty magazine in that book. I... Yeah, right. was a picture of a lady, at least. No, that was definitely a naughty magazine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you finally have some offense. And some magic. Oh, damn time. Now you guys are both going to be shredding no bosses. Blues there. I mean, honestly, this is the greatest way to level up your magic. I didn't see blue. Who? Yeah, because he's blue, double Dita, but die. Who's blue? Like, double look, Dita, look, oh, oh he's, he looks more purple to me. Oh, either way, he's not red like supposed to be. Hmm. Oh, I guess you're Yay, out of magic. Yeah, I ran out of magic. Well, <laughs> time for another fairy wall not question mark. I think we're close to killing him. Actually, you might as well. There's going to be a boss fight soon. Fair enough. <laughs> and I don't yeah. have to worry about magic. We only have three left. Three. Honestly, I'm so glad we're playing. Oh god, we're playing. Oh. <laughs> I killed it. This game is kind of bad. Uh oh. Yeah, uh, boss time. Boss time. Oh, wait, never mind. Mario Kart Racing. Yeah, remember that annoying tongue lashing lizard from before? Oh no. I do not attack all three of them at once. I did. Let's just focus focus on one of them at a time. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty much harmless. Remember that the the tongue lashing lizard? Jose, yeah. stop attacking all three of them at once. I need to level up my magi. I think you level up magic. Really, you will have three of those annoying 
Where he, they all grow up at once. Come on, it's working effectively. What's the worst that could happen? Exactly. Just listen to Jacob for once. Oh, you're out of magic. Okay, now I, now I have to use zero Z saber. Fire! And I really need to heal. Oh, come on, why am I getting eaten? Messed up by one of them. Why? Well, now there's uh, three boring lizards that we have to worry about. <laughs> Did my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna get. You know, I'm gonna get PTSD over this. Do I'm we ever... saying don't attack them, all, all three of them. Now you're getting eaten alive. Well, if we die, we have a save state to load from. Thank you. <laughs> this is straight up your fault, dude. <laughs> it's effective. <laughs> I still get eaten anyways. Poor Jacob. Yeah, it's not my These day. These things are foul. There we go. No! I hate you! <laughs> Wait, honestly, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. We're healing each other right now. Mm. I mean, I, I the only one who really needs healing is you. I mean, the lizards are healing each other. Oh. Well, I healed you anyways. Hey, look. <laughs> they only have a limited number of heals, I think, though. So. Well, yeah, they have MP like we do. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna need more no. Do yeah. we do we ever figure out what the barrel does? I think it's just some protective thing. Hmm. Well I mean Jose does have defensive magic. Biting lizard. He's not really bite. bite. He's not really biting anybody though. Mm -hmm. We get to jam it to this music. This music stinks. All right. I'm gonna whip this guy. Bum, bum, bum. Wait, wait, na, 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 na. I think they're dead. Yep, they're dead. Okay, we're good. Now, what did I say? All right. I told you that, that attacking. I told you that attacking everybody is a good idea, and you never listened to me. Well, it didn't go as badly as I thought it would. Oh my god, stop freezing me! I'm not a Wendy's product! Uh, these blue slimes suck. Eh, time for the whip again. You should listen to me. I'm, a gl I'm, I'm glad I am a whip main. Yeah, I don't care. I'm gonna use the whip the whole game. Like,. Trying to level up all the weapons individually just be annoying, and I'll, it'll basically be like the same mistake I made when I played Shadow Dragon all those years ago, where I tried to level up all my units. Are you saying that you want to be Simon Belmont to that, throughout the entire game? Yeah. Get out of the way. I'm trying to go in the door. Mm -hmm. Let me in. Jay, when are you ever gonna play Castlevania 4? Mm. I know that. I know that. I know when I do play that game, it's gonna kick my ass. Come on, that game is not that hard. Oh, and I completely missed. You stupid eye! It, Jacob, it's much easier than the previous three Castlevania games yeah, on NES. Yeah, you know, fuck it, just use your magic. <laughs> I mean, yeah, or, or we can go through the door. Yeah, we can just go through the door. There we go. Be boss gone, time. Bot. Be gone, monster. Well, yes. No. <laughs> I can see for a child, time for your punishment. Come. Oh, no, there's another boss? It's another reskin. <laughs> 
Yeah, thank you for the frost, I guess. Well, you guys have fun with that boss fight. Well, can you at least heal? Dude, you have fire magic. You should be attacking too. No, I'm not gonna heal. Actually, Jose, I have an idea. You, sh you should use um, you should use your speed up spell, and then we can pull we can pump out shit faster. I think it's on um, I think it was was it Earth? The Earth or Lightning? I forget. I think it's Lightning. Actually, no, it's not Lightning. It's Earth. It's Earth then. Earth has speed up. Yeah, do that on everybody. And then we'll be able to move faster and do shit. I don't care. I don't know exactly what speed up does. I think it makes like the um I think it makes our I think it makes the charge thing faster for me. Out the tags it says our, our accuracy and evasion have gone up. Oh, so I won't miss as often. So where's the weird goblin guy? <laughs> Man, how nice it would be if I actually had magic. Holy shit, 300 damage. Damn. I tried using the better fire spell. Exploder. Exploder. Last very well. That's our last one. That's like 7,000 gold down the drain. Rip. Just let me have fun. I'm about to, I'm about to whip him. I well, you can change your weapon, and that's all you can do. I've tried on walnuts now. Oh great, we're all out of walnuts. Come on, let me whip him. Well, you guys have fun. I'm not gonna do anything. That did like nothing, what the fuck? I did 31 damage. And I did fully charge. Are you saying we're on us? Well, I don't have anything that's good for We're attacking. Done. He's dead. Well, time to spend another oh, 7,000 yeah. on walnuts. That's all. That's where all of our money is going to go towards. Walnuts and potentially armor upgrades. <laughs> Way to go! Hooray! Got boomerang orb. The twist of the century. That uh, gigas was... Santa. Santa, and you are Master Santa Claus. Are you all right? <laughs> oh, Rudolph! Sorry to avoid you. I'm fine now. Why are you a vampire? <laughs> oh, I turned into Frost Gigas because kids left. When mana fades, kids lose their hopes and dreams. I wanted so badly to bring back all of their dreams. Then I heard that mana trees grow instantly and become huge. I set off to find a mana seed, thinking I could grow a huge Christmas tree. But it was the seed that changed my body and turned me into that monster. So you got pregnant, Santa? Damn. If the power of mana is abused, it could be very dangerous. Here, take the fire seed. You need it, right? Got the fire seed. Big up, Santa is fat for eating too many cookies. Yeah, it's, it reminds me of that fucking SML episode where Santa came over and Jeffy like threw shit at him. That's not even funny. Now we have, now we have to head back to Kakara and return the seed to where it should be. Gotcha. Jacob. What do you mean that's not funny? It's not even funny at all. I think it's funny. It's just Jeffy throwing things. No, he. No, it's funny because he's bullying Santa. Right, you guys are snowmen yeah, now. Yeah, but even still, bullying is not even that funny. I don't know, I, fa I found it funny. Unword. You just literally repeated the same scene from Locked Out. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, so where- I think the can was- yeah, I know the can was, like, somewhere to the right. Modern Family Guy because of that. I have not seen Modern Family Guy, bro. <laughs> okay, well, good for you. Oh yeah, and Jacob, just check on the group DM. What I said. Okay, let me. Uh, maybe I can do it on my phone. Okay, just do that on your phone, because it's one of. Because this is one of the videos that I was right. talking about. Uh, Dorito Super Bowl commercial. I 
forget yeah, of. I forget. I forget if I've seen yeah. that. You actually seen that? I don't. I, I, if I did see it, it's been like a long ass time. Don't worry. It's a short video. It's actually funny to me mm. at least. Here's the cannon. It's just Toad getting beat up by Shrek. <laughs> Alright, Kakara, Kakarot. Hey look, we have enough Moon Knee to buy seven walnuts. And what's funny is that SML actually used a Mario music in the beginning of the video. Ah, uh, good on you, SML. It was for Mario Sunshine. Alright, you know what time it is, guys. Mode 7 Graphics! Honestly, at this point, I'd rather play Earthbound. Because at least Earthbound was a really good game. <laughs> Although I haven't played Mother 1 yet. Gonna need a compilation of Jose badmouthing Secret of Mana now. I uh, mean, what did you expect? I thought this game was, was gonna be good, but I was disappointed. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, thanks for bringing the Mana Seed back. Like, I'm oh, sure yeah, there's no point of packing its temple. Oh, I'm sure okay. there, I'm sure that this game has fans, and if if people are out there are fans of this game, I'm I'm happy that you really enjoy this game, even oh. though I don't. Oh yeah, we also got the glove orb and the boomerang orb. Holy shit! Did did they just become fucking Wolverine claws, dude? That's awesome. Google claws and the rising sun. Damn, I got the sun as an as a weapon. Jacob, if okay, you could let's, at least let's find a Secret of Mana fan to make me understand the appeal of the game, then maybe I want to listen. I don't get the appeal of the game either, but I'm having fun. <laughs> well, would you rather play Chrono Trigger, Jose? Because Chrono Trigger is kind of, well, sort of similar to this. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, at least the art style reminds me of Secret of Mana a bit. Maybe not maybe not the combat. The combat's way different. It's like a real-time, like... So, uh, Jacob, what were we about to say? Well, because Chrono Trigger is, like, it's turn-based, but, like... I'd rather play Chrono Trigger. The thing I love about Chrono Trigger is that the battles, they take place in the exact area that you're in. Okay. But in Secret right. of Mana, the battles are real time. But if I ever wanted to play Chrono Trigger, then I would rather play Chrono Cross next. Well, I'm pretty sure that's a PS1 game, right? I know it's a PS1 game. I've heard that one's good. People told me that there are some people that told me that Chrono Cross is very story story driven. Yeah, welcome to the Mad Mallers, these commando ducks that throw grenades. Oh god. Uh, I... Yeah, the temple's off this way. Isn't Chrono okay. Trigger a very long game? I think so. Oh boy. To be honest, I'm getting kind of tired, so I think after we put the seed in, we'll probably call it a day. Thank goodness. Well, the dungeon is a whole dungeon, so do you want to just head back to the town? Oh. Yes. Uh, you know what? What we'll do is we'll, we'll get in front of the dungeon, and then we'll save state, and then we'll pick it up from there. Actually, you know what? Um, better idea? We should go to a shop and get more fairy and walnuts. Besides, the, person, the person who made Chrono Trigger is the same per- I mean, I'm not sure if it is the same person who made Dragon Ball. Well, the artist for Chrono Trigger is Akira Toriyama. Okay, so the artist was involved with Chrono Trigger. Yeah, and they also yeah. and they also did um, Dragon Quest. Yeah, I'm also aware of that. Well, actually, there isn't there is no shop in Kakura, so we're gonna have to go to a different like place to get more fairy walnuts, right? Rest in peace, Akira. Yeah, rest in peace. Oh boy, slow down. What's wrong with the frames? real weird today um uh i think i know there's a shop in Ma no let's go to ice country because matongo is weird and it took a while to find the cannon there yep so my bad we gotta we gotta take a little detour and then once we get back to um the town then we can save once we get back to kakura again Mo seven stay, graphics. Hey, 
Maybe in the ice country as well. Or that, yeah. Well, yeah, the shop's literally right here. That's convenient. The mighty power of weird, uh, walrus men. The walrus men. Alright. Is it really a walrus? Yep. Uh, I mean... <laughs> oh wait, fairy walrus only costs 500... five... Wait, they're only 500 here. Five... Why are you spending 500 coins? Yeah, I get more fairy walnuts. Fairy walnuts. Well, hang on, the fairy walnuts were like a thousand at the other place, so that's actually a pretty good deal. And before I forget, let's also, let's, also, let's also sell our old armor. Oh, <laughs> I the new one yet. Well, you can equip the new one after. Hmm. I think that's it. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jose, just put on the uh, just put on your new equipment. Okay. And then we'll hmm. probably go save at the inn and call you know, it a day. Jacob? What? I'm starting to have this kind of realization about Cosmos. Hmm. She's actually more than just a weapon. She was actually... She actually inherited somebody's consciousness before. Damn, that's raw as hell. What do you mean? I mean that's I mean that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning that something Xenogear is related. Uh, what the heck is Cosmos? Yeah, it's a char she... it's a character in Xenosaga. She's kind of yeah, like she's kind of like I guess. Yeah, except that she... except that she... she except that Cosmos got the consciousness of a rare. Of a very old woman who was, I think, married by Christ himself. Damn. Okay, did the game freeze, or are you just stuck in the menu? Oh, there we go. At least that's <laughs> what the description says. Again, that is pretty raw. I like the sound of that. Alright. We just save again. Heal again, and then we'll save and, I guess, call it a day. Kind of a shorter episode, but we did have a crash earlier, which kind of bummed me out slightly. And uh, I'm also kind of hungry, so probably be a good time to end it for the day. Well, we had, we made decent progress. We beat like what four bosses this episode, right? I think so. So what's our progress for today? Well, we we went to the sand ship. We um we did the entirety of the ice dungeon. And we also got the- we got some fire magic. It's pretty good, I'd say. Please tell me we're halfway through this game. Um, well, let me look at the guide real quick. It says, um... Hold on. Oops, I went too far back. Well... Okay. Um, yeah, I'd say we're like, maybe like, 40% through the game. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> But yeah, I think that'll be it for today, so thanks everybody for watching. We'll probably be back with this game next week as well. Hopefully not. I mean you don't have to you don't have to join next time if you're not feeling well, Jose. It's up to you really. Okay. But yeah, um I guess I will uh, see you guys next week, right? Maybe. If I feel right. like it. Alright, well have a have I want to that that's all good. Yeah, no worries. All right, well, have a good day, guys. You too. Have a good night. Went to go jack off. All right, well, I guess I will, uh, I guess I'll see everybody later, all right? Take care. I might stream later if I'm bored. So, yeah.